It's not easy to make a coup attempt boring, but the Democrats found a way. Article 1 is adopted. Well, from Congressman Devin Nunes' witty jabs to House Speaker's stern facial expression, not to cheer when the articles of impeachment were passed. Now comes another showdown, this time in the Senate. But could it be stalled as Nancy Pelosi is playing the waiting game to hand over the articles to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell? And Alexandra Limon joins us now from Capitol Hill. Alexandra, thanks for joining us here on Sunday Morning Matters. You know, the mood was described as somber and a sad day for the country. But behind the scenes here, were Democrats all smiles? Give me a sense of the atmosphere on Capitol Hill once that gavel went down and the articles of impeachment were passed. Well, even publicly in front of the cameras, right after that gavel hit, you heard some of the members of the Democratic caucus begin to cheer and clap. And then that very poignant moment when Speaker Nancy Pelosi kind of gave them the side eye because she, in private conversations, apparently had made it very clear to members of her caucus that this wasn't a moment that they should be celebrating. Her entire uh, demeanor leading up to and during the votes was that this was, uh, you know, bad and sad day for the country, and she expected her members, uh, members of her caucus to behave that way. And you know, the House Speaker really downplaying her threat now to withhold the impeachment uh, charges to the Senate. Really, what's the strategy here in doing that? Because typically the protocol is to hand over the charges to the Senate right away so they can start formulating a trial date. Well, it's more than a threat now, right? The House has gone on break for the holidays and won't be back until January. And uh, Leader Hoyer uh, said there would be no more votes, making it very clear that they're not sending the articles of impeachment to the Senate, at least until the re they return from that break. And it is very much strategic, because obviously Democrats don't control the U.S. Senate, and they feel that this kind of in-between time is the only leverage they have to try to negotiate things like whether any witnesses will be called to testify during that Senate trial, and more importantly, which witnesses. Obviously, Republicans would like to hear per from people like uh, Vice President Joe Biden, maybe Hunter Biden. Uh, they've even, you know, some of them have said they want to hear from the whistleblower in all of this. Uh, meanwhile, Democrats want to hear from people like John Bolton and M Mick Mulvaney. And so they've said part of the reason that they are withholding these articles of impeachment is as some sort of leverage to try to get those negotiations. We'll see whether it actually works out in their favor at all. Uh, I got a quick few seconds here. Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, um, they're expected to come up with the rules here. This could probably take forever. Well, they met on Thursday for about 20 minutes, and it doesn't seem like it went well because we didn't really get any comments from Leader Schumer after it wrapped up. He wouldn't answer any questions about how it went. But the key here is that once the House Democrats hand over the articles of impeachment, once they decide to do that, the Senate can only wait 24 hours before beginning that trial. That's the rules that are set out by the Constitution. And then after that, they can't work on anything else until that trial concludes. All right. Alexandra Lamone on Capitol Hill. Happy holidays to you.